Today we're going to be ranking Roblox simulators. I'm scared that something I say is going to be controversial, but I hope you don't get mad at me. Exposed! Don't expose me. I'm exposing my film to take a picture of you. <laughs> what? Cut in 4K! DJ and I have compiled a list of games that have the word simulator in the title. There are other games out there that are simulators without the name, like Ninja Legends, but it doesn't have the word simulator in it. Except, what? What is this? We'll just check that out in a little bit. I have no idea. DJ put some weird ones in here. Some of these are like OG simulators. The first one I think I want to rank is Bubblegum Simulator because this was like a huge part of our life. I'm gonna put that one in. I don't know if it's really mythical. The pressure's on! But it is definitely legendary. It's like between mythical and legendary. I would say a mythical game though would be like absolutely mind-blowing. Like, you know what? For now, we're just gonna put it in mythical. It was a like huge part of our channel. We've made over like 150 videos on that game. So I would call that one mythical. I feel like some people would disagree with that though. Poop Scooping Simulator. It's a classic. A classic simulator made by our very own. Our very own. We what own him. <laughs> Stop. Your art. Okay, this is a game that, that Russo plays, like tries to act like doesn't exist anymore. Like he's like, I didn't make that what you talking about. I'm gonna put that in bad. <laughs> no, actually, I'm gonna put it in meh because it actually, at the time, it really did actually impress me, like the mechanics in it. But you know, I just didn't know what to do after scooping a few poops, you know? <laughs> <laughs> What is this bathroom one? What? Is this even a simulator? What's with all the bathroom stuff right in the beginning? I don't know. I saw it. It stood out. It doesn't have a name on it. You're clearly the one that put it here. I and didn't I, order it like that. I just want to know what it is. Like, tell me what it is. So I searched bathroom simulator because I assume... Yep, that's it. What is bathroom simulator? Public bathroom simulator. My bad. Oh, that's even How worse. How does this have 148 million visits? Please follow the Roblox community rules. Being in a... Okay. Uh, I hope I don't get banned. Um, what is this? Oh, why is this person's head so big? Wait, I just don't understand what this is. Can I like do things? Is this an actual simulator? Or is this like role play? Is it just like the simulation of like being in a public bathroom? <laughs> There's literally no gameplay. Mm -hmm. This is disgusting. There's like pee in the toilet. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was fairly impressed with the feeling of feeling like I was in a public bathroom. I will say that was very bad. <laughs> What? <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. That wasn't even a game. It was just a build with people joining. It was sensational. Okay, the next one I want to rank is Ice Cream Simulator. This was the first game that ever put DJ and I in the game. Like we're a pet in this game. And I have such good memories with this game. There's like 20 updates, 21 updates. I'm going to put this one under legendary. It was a little buggy sometimes and a little uh, weird with like where the portals took you and stuff, but like the overall gameplay for its time was pretty addicting and I actually had a lot of fun. So I'm kind of judging my criteria based off of like how much fun I had at the time that, that I played it. Cause some of these are really old and I bet if I like joined and played them today, I would have a whole different like opinion about it. I mean, things have evolved into better like versions by now, but also a lot of people have just copied each other. Some of these were really unique. I would say Ice Cream Simulator was very unique at the time, right DJ? Yes. Are you drumming? Yeah. Uh, is that a problem? Uh, no. <laughs> The next one is Destruction Simulator. I do remember playing this. I thought it was pretty satisfying, but it wasn't like the most amazing game. I'm gonna just put that one in unique. Fishing Simulator is actually really well done. It has a lot to it. People still play it a lot. I wouldn't really call it like your average simulator. It doesn't really feel like a simulator, like a Roblox simulator. I'm gonna put that one under Epic. And if you disagree with me, DJ, well, just tell me. I disagree! Sizzling Simulator felt like a simulator that might have been put together pretty quickly with all of the basic simulator mechanics and like progression. Almost, Almost like, like a, a, a copy and paste of, of other simulators. simulators but with different assets. So I'm, I'm gonna put that one under common. Hopefully that didn't offend anyone. Baby simulator. Remember that one time me and DJ became babies? I don't know. I just feel like I'm gonna put that one under uncommon just cause like it was uncommon to be a baby, but like the actual simulator felt common. <laughs> I'm a know. baby. Oh gosh. <laughs> Tree planting simulator, our own game. Uh, I think that one was bad. Oh, I'm just kidding. I actually am pretty proud of how that one came out. DJ, if you were to rank it, what would you rank this one? I would give it 10 out of 10. Why I'm a baby. Oh gosh, DJ, leave this video. Leave this video now. Woohoo! 
Woo! I think I'm gonna put that one under mythical. It was the very first game DJ and I ever released. We helped plant 20 million trees, so it was for a good cause. It's kind of actually really unique and impressive for a simulator game. You should check it out if you haven't yet. It was also kind of life-changing for us because it got us into development, which was a pretty cool thing. Yes. Which is why I'm standing here right now in, in a game that Sabrina's gonna break later. Let's move on to Clicker Simulator. You know, a lot of people play this game, like 30,000 at least all every time I look are playing this game. And we actually grinded this game out for like six hours straight recently. I must say, I'm gonna put it under basic. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's just so like everything feels copy and pasted in there. And it's disappointing when you just like, I, I don't know. We I can't explain my reasoning, but that's just how I feel. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I agree. I think they did a good job doing a mix of like Saber Simulator, Ninja Legends, and Bubblegum Simulator combined. It literally is that. And if that's what they wanted to do, they did a great job doing that. I'm not sure if that was necessarily something that I wanted, but I did have fun playing it, but it just feels- I had fun for like 20 minutes and yeah. then it just like was so repetitive. Either way, I disagree! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dragon Fighting Simulator. There's still 5,000 people playing this. It looks like I did not buy any game passes or anything in this. So I don't know why this is on the list. Let me go ahead and check it out. I don't think I played this. I have zero. If I'm gonna rate this just based off of like looking at it and not really playing, but like trying to understand knowing what's gonna happen. First of all, I like when you run that the camera like shifts a little bit. I mean, the UI is pretty nice. There's a magnet, which we always like. Honestly, this looks like a game we should try out. I do like me some magnets. I'm just gonna rank Dragon Fighting Simulator purely based off of visuals. Like my very first impression I'm playing or joining the game, I didn't play it yet, but I feel like it's gonna be somewhere in the middle. So I'm gonna put it on Uncommon. The next one is Ghost Simulator. This one, I feel like some people really don't like it and some people really love it. I don't know if there's people that like think about it like as just like your average because it's so unique. That's also why some people don't like it is because it's like so unique. They tried to like do very unique things for like getting pets it's like a whole different way of getting them and there's you have to use your hoverboard if you want to like and, which is weird because I feel like pet simulator everyone's used to using a hoverboard but back like when go sim had it like people were like I don't like it because it's hard to use my hoverboard on mobile and oh yeah like I just that's kind of weird now to me because like pet sim has it I'm actually gonna put this one under legendary their boss battle that the last video we made in go simulator was amazing and that like, boss battle actually inspired the final battle. It did. We so, reached out to Makimon, the person who built the game, because we were like, this is really cool. We want yeah, this. Yeah. And she helped and us Makimon make the final battle. And Makimon made the final battle for season two RB battles. So definitely at least a legendary, if not mythical game. Okay, the next one is Treasure Hunt Simulator. I think this might be the second simulator we ever played on Roblox. I think the first one was snow shoveling, and I don't know why it's not in this list. I'm gonna put that one under Epic. How about Saber Simulator? Oh wait, this isn't Saber Simulator, is it? Oh, this is Superhero Simulator, but they have a Saber update and they put Saber Simulator in the icon. Mm. <laughs> That's a little misleading, but yeah, this is Superhero Simulator. This is Dennis's game and I thought it was pretty epic. I'm gonna put that one under epic. It had a very like copy and paste unlocking simulator linear path that a lot of simulators have. So that's why I put it under epic. Epic, but it also had like a different kind of shop than I was used to and a like cool battle area and stuff And I haven't played it since so I have no idea what's been added since like it first came out probably a lot What is raise a floppa? Like what is this? Wait, you don't know what raise a floppa is? What is this? Is this How a dare simulator? You? Is this a simulator? How dare you? What, it looks like How just, dare you? It looks like your DJ's is trolling me or something. I gotta look this up. 26.5 thousand are playing this? I told you. What is this? I am so intrigued. Actually. This is the best simulator <laughs> ever, even though it doesn't say simulator in the title. But just ignore that part. You broke the rules, DJ. It's supposed to say simulator in the title. It's a simulator. Okay. This looks like an awful old Roblox build. So that's my first impression. Also, why is there a cube cat following me? I'm kind of creeped out. This is very weird. What? 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 What is? Why? Oh my gosh. It's just 
just like a meme game. Honestly though, I mean, I'm glad it was cats because I love cats. So it, it gets up. Definitely a thumbs up for the, the memes, the cat memes, but I just don't even know what this is. <laughs> a lot of people are playing it. it, it I, I don't know why. <laughs> well, what do I do? <laughs> why did my cat just poop money? <laughs> Raise a floppa. Not a simulator. Doesn't have the word simulator in it. So you cheated, DJ. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put this one in a uh, uh, mythical. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> it looks pretty awesome, not gonna lie. I kinda wanna play it. Like, okay, the builds are pretty bad, but I think it's on purpose, and I think it's winning for that reason. I mean, there's cat faces everywhere. I'm a cat fan. Like, of course I'm gonna like it. You played it for two seconds. How did you decide that? <laughs> I kind of do want to play it though and see like what it's all about. Unboxing Simulator. We played a lot and it was definitely unique. It had the same like linear unlocking path and a lot of it felt a little bit like programmed in a way that seemed like messy to play. Like the speed of like running and like all the portals in a line and like some something about it was a little messy. But at the same time, it was really addicting and I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that one under rare. It's it was kind of lacking a little bit, but like like gameplay wise, they really nailed extending the gameplay. It just felt really like rewarding to unlock areas and try to get all the hats and all that. And people are probably gonna get mad because like unboxing simulator fans really love that game. And we got like requested, we still get requests to play it. Bee Swarm Simulator? Woo! Let's start with the negatives. There's only one negative to Bee Swarm Simulator. It's that it, you didn't join it and play it yet. I'm just kidding. It's kind of really grindy. It's actually so grindy that you're like, why am I still playing this? But I gotta keep going. Like, I don't know how it manages to make you keep going for so long. It's actually genius, but it's definitely like unique when it first came out with the honeycomb thing and the, and the different bees and the rarities and like the way that they approached everything like I honestly am just putting it under mythical. It is still one of the top simulator games on Roblox and for a reason and we also have some plushies. Some of these swarm simulator plushies. Tower defense simulator! All right this is one where people are like they're hardcore fans like you either love it or hate it. I actually really liked it. I'm gonna put it under epic though because I don't think it's legendary or mythical, which I hope that doesn't upset people. It's still really fun though. Dunking Simulator. We just played Dunking Simulator uh, in our last video like with the combination of other simulators. And I do have to say, after playing it for a while, I kind of started growing on me a little bit, but my first impression, and I tried joining it like more than once, was really bad because I did the, the UI was hard to like navigate and use and like I didn't know where I was supposed to go and what to do. It just felt a little unintuitive and I don't think I would play it again. So I'm going to put it under meh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, though. But you like basketball. I do. And I thought, I think that the like animations and like the hoop, like throwing and everything is that mechanic is like the best part of Dunking Simulator. And I just feel like uh, when you spawn, your first impression is not good in that game. Like the way the build is, like the navigation, all that. Fame Simulator. We were in this one, right? As pets? I think. YouTuber pets? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Unless this is a different one. I kind of want to join it because I don't fully remember. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the one I thought it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in this. It was like the second game that ever put us in their game. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed this game too. And I thought it was pretty like funny and unique and I liked the builds and stuff. Wow, there's like nobody here. I feel slow. Whoa. Look how rich I am. Look how many fans I have. I have 37 billion fans. I have Sabrina. Oh my gosh, it's my old avatar. <laughs> She's like walking in place behind me. Well, anyway, I really liked this game. I think I'm gonna put it under unique. I'd say that's a fair ranking. Mining Simulator 2. We loved Mining Simulator and I'm gonna put that one under epic. Laundry simulator. I joined it before and I think it's okay, um, but I'm gonna put it under basic. I don't know, I just feel like that. <laughs> I don't have to have that much like reasoning, right DJ? I don't know, I'm planting trees, leave me alone.
Oh, okay. Wow, I'm sorry. All right, Sonic Speed Simulator. This game is going wild right now. Like, people loved it for a simulator. I will say, I did like it a lot for the first, like, hour. After that, I played for four more hours trying to, like, get as many rebirths as I could, and I was pretty miserable. It was the exact same thing over and over. I suffered. It really was just running around. Like, there was nothing else to do other than run around. Where am I gonna put this? Where am I gonna put it, DJ? I don't know. I gotta go fast. Okay, I'm not gonna put it down here. I I'm gonna put it under rare. I'll put it next to unboxing sim. Because, like, it's still, like, really well done. Woohoo! <laughs> Egg Farm Simulator! Oh my gosh! Dude, we played the heck out of this game, I must say. And it was so unique. For that, I'm gonna put this one under mm, rare. Are you in there right now, DJ? Yes, and I have a unicorn staff. I don't remember this. <laughs> What is what is going on? I don't remember any of this. I'm gonna keep going with the theme of Egg Farm Simulator, and I'm gonna go ahead and rank Pet Ranch Simulator. It's only similar because you have like your own little farm and it's like a circular map, but the gameplay is quite different, I would say. But it has that like AFK gameplay element um, where you can just like keep upgrading and like making your like team bigger and bigger, a team of pets basically. I really liked this, and I think I liked it more than Egg Farm Simulator. I'm gonna go ahead and put it under rare. I, I want to say Pet Ranch Simulator 2 looks better and performs better, but I do remember thinking the UI felt overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, look what- I don't know what I'm looking at. There's just buttons everywhere because there's like overlapping UI, but what's weird is the UI is beautiful, but then it like feels confusing. So that was my only thing. I think I had gotten used to the first one, but look how they like wobble when you cover it. That's so cool. But yeah, this, this game, uh, very addicting. As you can tell, we progressed a lot. I agree. So I'm actually going to put Pet Ranch Simulator 2 in epic. I think it's epic. Like epic. for the type of simulator it is. Strongman Simulator. Okay, this is probably gonna upset a lot of you. My first impression of Strongman Simulator was what is this? I thought it was like one of those really bad games that someone made like where you grow big and like a copy and paste and you just like, I don't know the word. Um, But when I started playing it, I got addicted to it and I really liked that you could drag weights and stuff. I had never seen that in another simulator, like dragging things through a finish line. So that was cool. Like I do see some effort, but it just feels so like, I don't know the word, not, what's the word I'm looking for, DJ? Uh, rushed? <laughs> yeah, it looks rushed, but it is an interesting game. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one under uncommon. I do feel like it's just somewhere in the middle. It looks like the areas got cooler and cooler though. It is unique though. That's why I put it under uncommon. Yeah, and like how you pull the door off, like that's cool too. I really like games that make you interact with it instead of just like clicky to go. <laughs> I don't know, it's like way more interesting. I wanna leave the planet. All right, DJ, we're not playing Strongman Simulator right now. Fine. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and rank B Sim. So this isn't B Swarm Simulator, it's B Simulator. This game really impresses. Even though we only did one gameplay video on this, I feel like people didn't want to watch gameplay video on it for some reason, but the game was so polished and like amazing to me and DJ. Like we were just shocked at how polished it was. Like when you entered a new area, the flowers grew and everything came to life and like, when you went to the UI, the background blurred and like, I don't know, there's just so much polish in this game that we were like shocked. Especially when we found out it was made in like under two weeks. We were like, wait, what? Look at this. I don't know why, but just like this game, just like this, the polish is amazing. Look, the flowers grow. So yeah, for that reason, I'm putting that one under epic. Epic. Cleaning simulator. This is an OG simulator. May have been one of the first three simulators I ever played on Roblox. It's definitely legendary. <laughs> Even to this day, I would probably enjoy cleaning and cleaning simulator because it, it made it like kind of satisfying. It was just different and unique. I, I don't know if you remember, like but cleaning like... simulator wasn't really a simulator. Wait, that's not what I remember. That's not I don't know how to simulator. get out of this. I don't know how to get that's out of here. That's not what I, wait, that's not it, is it? Am I thinking of another game? No, no, this is the game. Look. What? But I remember a world. Yeah, there is a world. Oh. But I'm just saying, like, it wasn't what we consider a simulator. Yeah, but it was simulating cleaning. Whoa, wait. I don't remember being in first person like this. Do you? I remember. Yeah. Like, this is exactly how I remember it. Dude, this game is... <laughs> this is bringing me back, man. It has so much polish. For, like, an old 
Roblox game. It's actually like amazing. <laughs> yep, and that is why it's under Legendary. Snowman Simulator. Whoa! I'm gonna put that one. DJ, DJ, oh, we're moving what? on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Snowman Simulator. I'm gonna put that one under Common. Magnet Simulator. Played a lot of that. Loved the magnets. It was satisfying. It did get laggy and make me nauseous a couple times, I'm not gonna lie, when I was like moving really fast. So I'm gonna put it under Unique. Mining Simulator, the original one. Definitely a legendary game. I just feel like it's legendary. That's all I gotta say. Bomb Simulator felt like a lot of other simulators. I'm gonna put that one under Common. Vacuum Simulator. This is a White Hat Studios game. Oh. Oh yeah, I have every single game pass. <laughs> We definitely played this. I don't know why I forgot. And this is, again, I think I got like, like nauseous from it. <laughs> like at some point it got really laggy. And when you're moving fast and it's lagging, it's like really disorienting. But oh, I, I remember this. It would constantly it. like pop yeah. up and say sell and you have to click sell and you like teleport. Yeah, it was, I I'm actually, I think for vacuum simulator, I'm, I'm going to rate it a little lower. I think I'm going to rate this one under basic. Om nom simulator. Isn't this the one where you like, there, it was like a square in the center and then like you had to like eat. DJ, what was om nom simulator? Yeah. This. I remembered it. It's a square in the center. Each area was like blocked off. Yeah. I feel like, okay, they tried to be like different by not, not having a linear like thing. But I felt like the, just putting a wall like that and made, makes the build feel less cool. It's not that bad. And I actually think I remember enjoying this game like thoroughly. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put this one under unique. I'm this is an AM brick game. Oh, I, I love AM brick games. Is it Ambrick or Ambrick? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Blob Simulator. I don't know why, but when we talk about old simulators that we played, like this is one of the first ones that pop into my head. Like we played a lot of Blob Simulator and I don't know why, but I had so much fun playing it. I don't know. I don't know why, but I'm going to put that one under rare. Blob Simulator 2. Blob Simulator 2 was also awesome, but I felt like I got used to Blob Simulator 1. So I was like a little like underwhelmed with Blob Simulator simulator too because i but the graphics were better the graphics they? were better but like the memories aren't the memories <laughs> oh my gosh i'm gonna dock it one lower than than the original what i'm putting it under unique why do you look like that oh god oh, no. something wrong with this pet swarm simulator all right fun fact we did an entire video beating all of pet swarm simulator and never uploaded it <laughs> <laughs> and we spent a ton of Robux too. I don't know why we didn't upload it. I think we just thought it wasn't a good video or something. But yeah, we played this and we thought it was like pretty good. But I don't know why, but we thought like we couldn't come up with a good title and thumbnail for it or something. Yeah, I don't know. It was like a while ago, like a year ago. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put that one under rare. Pretty good simulator, pretty well made. But I probably wouldn't. Well, actually, I'm putting it under epic. Sorry, I'm putting it under epic. There's a lot of epic simulators, not going to lie. Epic. Super Power Training Simulator. This simulator, I have mixed feelings about. It's so grindy. The gameplay is sitting and waiting. Like that is the gameplay for it. But at the same time, there was something so like different and it stood out like compared to all the other simulators and they like were unique. Like there was powers and you had to like train at certain areas and like easy to understand what to do. And I feel like, I feel like it's legendary. People still love playing this game. Hat Simulator. Uh, I feel like this one's just uncommon. I'm just gonna put what? it next to Strong. That one's cool. It is, but it was like a normal simulator. You hit stuff with your hats, and you collected the coins with your hats. I, that was cool. Fine, I'll put it under Unique. Look at my hats. <laughs> okay, it's maybe not as cool as I remember. I but know. Okay, I'm putting it back to uncommon. Look at this remember? coin. It's too high for me to back. I get. Blah, blah. Okay. Use my yeah. hat. Wait, Moving it's not on. even working. Hot sauce simulator. You have a table and you're like taking shots of hot sauce and it's like you're walking around with a table around you and it's kind of funny. I'm gonna put that one under rare. I'm drinking hot sauce. <laughs> oh, and it did that. <laughs> Wait, where's your table? You don't have it. I don't know. Where's my table? I don't remember how to do the table. Um, Wait, there's a table right here. What? Uh, hey. Oh. Oh, I think it might be glitching. Uh oh. Uh... <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> pew Pew Simulator. I'm gonna put that one under Uncommon. 
Pet Battle Simulator. DJ, is this the one that like almost felt like Pokemon in a way? And like you had to like look in the bushes and stuff. And like you actually- Yeah, had, like, yeah, yeah, Pet Battle Simulator. I loved playing this. Oh, this is a oh, different one. Oh, this game. That's not what I thought it was. Oh, it's that game where you battle like a big boss on different islands or whatever. Oh, right, okay. I didn't okay. enjoy this one as much as the game yeah. I thought I was ranking. <laughs> I'm gonna put it under common. Saber Simulator. All right, guys, Saber Simulator. We played so much. This is the first time we started spending all of our Robux. And for that reason, I'm gonna put it under mythical. <laughs> You thought I was gonna put it under bad, didn't you? I have really good memories with it. Unlocking all the sabers, it was like so satisfying because it was like ding, 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 ding. How can you not say that's satisfying? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of annoying. I'm <laughs> back. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Pet Fighter Simulator. This is Russo Play's latest game that we played. It was like an epic intro. It had like all these voiceovers. He really tried to like give it like story, which is great because simulators don't tend to usually have story like that. There were some pros and cons to the game. I think the game lost its longevity because the gameplay itself didn't have very much longevity. I, I was able to just like get to the worlds and like beat it pretty quickly, but I, but I of course did buy all the game passes and stuff but like games like up here even if you bought all those game passes you were still like forced longevity that aside the pets were so cool and they were all just like uniquely like concepted and modeled and animated and they had like little powers so i'm actually going to put this one under epic because i thought it was pretty epic okay dj the next one is goal kick simulator and we've never played it before oh, you, no. you must join and tell me what you think um, hold. Oh, I'm kicking. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. He's confused. Um, what? what was that? Can oh. someone tell me what that was? Do I need to stand like right here? Is this working? Am I getting points? Do I need to stand like right here? Okay. First of all, my first impression is that DJ is too confused. Why is this so hard for you to understand? Huh? Am I getting points? If you had to rank it, where would you put it? I mean, based on this amount of, I mean, I'm sure I'd eventually like figure it out, but like, oh, I'm getting a little better. Wait, wait. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna put it under unique. I'm gonna put it somewhere in the middle because I feel like it looks like it's a pretty interesting game. I like this effect. Yeah, that's cool. Weapon fighting simulator. Do you remember this? You had to fight weapons? <laughs> There was like all these like boss NPCs just standing there and you had to just like fight them. Oh. I feel like it was a little like boring, not gonna lie. <laughs> but we played it a lot. So I remember like, getting really into it. I think I'm gonna rank this one under uncommon. What about Pet Simulator, the original? How have you not ranked Pet Simulator yet? I We're don't this know. far into the video. Pet Simulator, the original, was life changing for Terabyte Games. Sounds like a movie. <laughs> Pet Simulator, the original. It was literally life-changing for us. It was a catalyst of pet games on, on our channel. We actually loved it. We did graphs. We did math to try to figure things out. And we like, we really took it seriously. Graph Master it. DJ. Graph Master DJ, do you guys remember that? Have you been here that long? Definitely mythical, I would say. Pet Simulator original is mythical. But we did graphs because, oh my gosh, this is <laughs> laggy. What? Just ignore the lag. We did graphs because originally the power wasn't just, wow, those are high numbers. The power <laughs> wasn't just power. They had agility and they had strength. Strength. Agility strength. and strength. <laughs> And like it was two different numbers as opposed to just having one number. It was like unclear what the numbers meant. We would do like all these math equations and stuff and try to figure out which ones were the best pets based on like how much agility and how much strength they had. I kind of liked it, but then he switched to power and I wasn't happy, but everyone likes it. So I guess I'll just pretend like I like it. Okay, DJ, what about Magician Simulator? Um, oh, that's Russo's game. Yeah, I was wondering if you remembered. <laughs> I liked flying around. Round. Yes, I liked flying around as well. Like I beat the game really fast and like, I don't know the word. I didn't know like how to like keep playing, but I really liked the art style and I loved like the build of the like the lobby center area and I loved the flying mechanic and all of that. So for that, I'm actually gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a rating of rare. Lifting simulator. Oh my gosh. What? What are you, what is this? <laughs> Where am I? Zoom out! Whoa. Oh my god! What is this? <laughs> what is what are those? This game is so funny. I love how meme it is. That's I crazy. don't remember this at all. I wanna rank that one epic. 
works. It sounds funny having a little soft voice coming out of a big body. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? What? <laughs> I'm in jail. Uh, Burger Simulator. I will say at the time it felt like another like copy and paste. Like there was Sizzling Simulator and Burger Simulator and uh, Hat Simulator. And they're all like coming out at the same time trying to just like, well, I, I might be making this up. It feels like it in my head that that's what happened. But I'm going to put this one under Uncommon. I think I enjoyed Burger Simulator more than Sizzling Simulator. Pet Simulator 2. Ooh. I actually really liked the art style a lot more in Pet Simulator 2. I thought it was really polished compared to Pet Simulator 1. And I was just like, wow, this is really cool. But then I got really annoyed that I had to like walk up to, I don't know if they changed it since, but the way it came out with the way that coins collected was actually just very, very annoying. That's like the one reason I didn't want to keep playing is because of how I had to collect. But I kind of liked it. I thought I it was like I liked it for the mechanic. most part. Like I literally didn't hate it. Maybe oh, they didn't wow. hate it either. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The collecting. But I, for some reason, there's something I don't about like that, that that like felt kind of uh, interesting. I don't like it. I want it to be automatic. Yeah. That for that reason, I'm gonna put that one under rare. I'm sorry, Pet Simulator 2! It was also free to play and I couldn't think of any cool titles! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> your game has to have really expensive game passes for us to want to play it. Warrior Simulator. Yeah, I remember this. So the pets were oh. interesting. But the gameplay itself, it felt like a little bit better than the other game that was like this, but it was still this like- This is the game I thought we were talking about earlier. No, we were talking about one that was like this, but even like less visually pleasing. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna rank this one under unique, right in the middle, because it's not terrible, and we played it for a long time. I'm OP. <laughs> All right, which White Hat Studios game is this? Is this Pet Walking Simulator? You would unlock a wall, and a whole entirely new ring around the lobby would unlock, and you would be able to like then see that entire area, which was like kind of long and cool. <laughs> I don't know how if I'm explaining this right, but the game itself felt lag and not polished. So I'm gonna put it for basic. I'm sorry. I love White Hat Studios. Like we played a lot of White Hat Studio games back in the day. All right, this one right here. Is this the one that was Pokemon like? Pet trainer. Pet, Pet trainer, trainer, yeah. Is it training or trainer? Pet trainer simulator. Oh my gosh, dude. We loved this game so much. This is the one I was talking about earlier. It's like Pokemon and you have to find the like the pets in the bushes and like fight and stuff. I just loved how like at the time the pets were like unique. Like this was one of the very first games to come out like after Pet Simulator with pets in it. And of course they couldn't do a Pokemon game because it's copyright. So they just tried to make an original one. So it was almost like a mix of Simulator with Lumion Legacy. <laughs> Look at my pets. Look how cool. I don't know. I just loved it at the time. I mean the the build is so basic. It looks like, I, it almost looks like all that stuff that came out of like the toolbox or something, maybe. Not all of it, actually. Some of it, maybe just the rocks. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm putting this one under, gosh, DJ, is it legendary or is it epic? Uh, oh I'm gonna no. put under legendary just because I have an extra spot there. And it legendary. Makes me feel <laughs> but it felt legendary at the time. We have Sea Cleaning Simulator, which is our game that's upcoming. We have Pet Simulator X. And we have Mysterious Mystery Fun for Games game by the RB Battles team. What could that be? Well, clearly it's a simulator if it's in the simulator video. They're all mythic! Oh my gosh. All of them! All right, I'm gonna start with the Fun for Games game. Obviously, we can't tell you what this game is about or what it's like right now. Well, I actually can tell you what it's like, kind of. It's like pretty unique. It's pretty addicting. It's different, but has a lot of elements of familiar familiarity of simulators so that you're not like thrown off. It's fun. I love it. I'm going to put it under mythical. I know it's going to be mythical when it comes out. I'm excited for it. Let's rank sea cleaning simulator. We're going to leave pet sim first for last. Sea cleaning simulator. This game we've been working on for quite a while since like the end of last year. Our developer that was on it at first ended up leaving in December and then we didn't have a dev for like two months and then we finally found a dev but then he needed to rewrite some stuff and then we added a bunch of features and so that's why it's been taking so long. I think I'm going to rank this one, I think I would rank it under the fun for games one. Only because the 
fun for games one is like it when i'm playing the two i would probably choose the fun for games one but they're equally both unique and cool and satisfying i'm putting it under mythical it's mythical it cleans the oceans it's for a good cause and it's coming out soon i don't know when but very soon so stay tuned the one we've all been waiting for a lot of people think it's bad a lot of people think it's meh a lot of people think it's basic they they get mad about the pay to win they get mad about the duping there's a lot of issues that are involved here it's con this is a controversial opinion i will say though i felt that the amount of accomplishment i've felt from playing this and getting on the leaderboard or like the achievements that i've gotten in this it has far surpassed a lot of these games and for that reason it is mythical the sound design in it is amazing the progression is like well done i never feel like i have i've run out of things to do i mean there's so many achievements there's so many pets you can get there's a pet index there's just so much and there's lots of game passes and things to make cool videos about now so, give us an update preston <laughs> yes that's all we need actually you know what i changed my mind until you add an update you're going to bed no